Back, Westland College began in 1936, and today they welcomed their 26th president. Suzanne Lawler has more on the leader from Canada. And she shows you that not only does Megan Blight want to recruit great students to the school, she wants them to have a bigger presence in central Georgia. I think the campus is incredibly beautiful, and when I drove by last night, my second time to campus, I, I kind of gasped thinking that uh, I get to actually run the place. And we can't wait to become involved with the, the Megan community. President Megan Blight took to the podium at Pierce Chapel at Wesleyan Friday afternoon. She is clear that she wants to recruit students from all over the world. Wesleyan has a distinct mission and a distinct vision, and that is to accelerate equality for women. The campus sits on 200 acres on Forsyth Road. People pass the picturesque plot every day. But Blight realizes that Westland isn't a household name. We need to advertise more. I mean, I've been walking around Macon too and not seeing much of the presence of Westland, so we need to be talking about it. We need to get our athletes into the community, sharing their stories. She figures athletics is a way to get people talking about the Wolverines. After all, when is the last time you caught a softball game? We need to get our athletes into the community, sharing their stories, so people understand that we have high achieving athletes here at Wesleyan that are going to put on amazing sporting events that are exciting to watch. Blight loved the trees and the buildings on campus, but she also came here to support Wesleyan's rich tradition. The liberal arts school dates back to 1836, and the land sits on the National Registry of Historic Places. Now with a new president at the helm, people may comprehend more of what the college is about. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Blight says she's not an academic. Before coming to Wesleyan, she served as a vice president at a liberal arts college in Ontario, Canada. Her job responsibilities included marketing, fundraising, and recruiting. And here's one more fact. Blight has two little boys, and she has coached their baseball team.